Hi guys, PJ here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put another SSD hard drive into an Asus uh, FD505 gaming laptop. Yeah, so if you've got one of these tough gaming laptops and you're running out of storage space on it, this is how you do it. Really quick, really easy and does not void your warranty. They are basically expandable. They're meant to be done. So first things first, let's flip it over. What you're going to need now is a Phillips or crosshead screwdriver, posi drive, and you've basically got these screws, which I've already taken the screws out. Now leave them in order. So the order you take them out in is the order you put them back in. Yeah, don't just dump them in a pile because they're not all the same length. If I show you across here, look, there's my four front ones, three middle ones, that one's shorter look, and there's your four back ones. Yeah, so they are all different lengths and whatever you do, don't mess them up. The next thing to do is, I did this actually by hand, but basically you can pop a plastic leverage device, or your fingernail to be honest, under this corner, and just sort of pop, there you go, pop. Now you do have to work your way along, it was a lot tighter than that, I've already pre-clicked it just for this video, but I just went along just clicking it up with my nail, if not get one of them little plastic leverage things you can get off eBay and just sort of pop it all the way around, and then it sort of hooks up, and off, revealing the inside of your laptop. Now, the storage bay is here, and as you can see, it's empty, and it already has the connector. So, absolute piece of cake to add another drive to this. It'll more than likely be configured as drive D, so your Windows drive is drive C, and your Windows drive is here, NVMe, and it's under this piece of plastic with a little screw on it. So, we leave that one alone. Now, this computer is about a year old, and as you can see, it's already crapped up to the nines, excuse the French, but it is. It needs cleaning out, guys, because otherwise they get noisier and noisier and performance can drop off. So we're going to clean all that dust and dirt out of there. Use pressurized aerosol of air, you know, you can get pressurized air and stuff. Or if you're careful, you can just sort of pick it all out, get a vacuum cleaner and just sort of hover it above it. Yeah, don't touch it with it. But onto the main thing, I will do that later, but onto the main thing right now, we've got to take out this drive caddy. Now to do that, to take out the drive caddy, it's held in by Phillips screw here and also Phillips screw in the photo. There we go, Phillips screw here. We're going to take that out now. Once you've got the two screws out, you can quite literally lift the caddy away. Let's pop that to one side over there. We'll just point out, by the way, this particular one, this has got a GTX 1650 graphics card in it, four gig. And it's got 8 gig of RAM, so they are actually expandable. Like you've got a spare RAM slot there, so all you need to do is get the exact same RAM that's in it, pop another one in, you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. So they are fairly future-proof. I mean, the spec on your graphics side will you know, vary depending on your model, but upgradability is really easy and, to be honest, really good. So next up, we're going to put our SSD in the caddy. main thing with these is to mount the drive upside down. Yeah. So in other words, upside down so that the label isn't facing upwards. We've got one more screw to put in on the back corner here. And this is only a tiny one, it's only for recording DVR off games, so it doesn't need to be a massive drive. But uh, once you've done that, you can move it across and line it up and connect it in. Now I'm gonna probably need both hands to do this, guys. It's a bit tricky. We'll have a go though. Oh no, very simple. There we go, in. Then click it down, make sure it's fully at home, line your screw holes, pop them back in. There we go, quick tighten up. Don't over tighten them, they're only brass, so you just want to just nip them up nicely. Like so. Same with the other one, just nip it up. There we go. Next up, now we've cleaned that little fan out, we're going to pop the case back on. I'm just going to click it on, not going to put the uh, screws back in until we've fully tested it. So we're just going to click, click, click all the way around, just go around tapping it, and then we're going to quickly turn it on and make sure everything is fine. Moment to truth, press power button, see what we got. Well, the keyboard's lighting up, so that's always a good sign. There's your Asus logo, guys. Okay, let's cut to where Windows is loaded. And there we go. D drive is the new SSD that we've just installed. So now we can flip the computer back over, pop all the screws back in, 
and jobs are good and pat yourself on the back for saving yourself some money and doing it yourself thanks for watching guys i'll be back again with another tech video shortly bye for now